Hello everybody and welcome to Learning English TV 14. My name is Steve Ford and today we're going to be talking about hang phrasal verbs. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, hang out with me. Since the sun is shining brightly in the sky, I think I'll hang around. I heard you had too much to drink last night. I heard you had a hangover But the sun will kill your ills And it will take away the chills of the night Never, never, never give up You know you gotta hang in there Since the sun is shining brightly in the sky I think I'll hang around So today I, for a change, have brought you to a nearby park and I thought that we could hang out together. Hang out is my first phrasal verb. You can hang out with your friends at a cafe and it can be your favorite hangout. So this means that you spend time with people, you chat with them. You're not really doing anything special, nothing in particular. You're just hanging out. Hang around can mean to stay. It's an informal way of saying to stay. So I'm going to hang around a little bit longer. You could also use it to say to be with people, to spend time with people. I like to hang around positive people. Maybe you had a little bit too much to drink last night and you have a hangover. <laughs> your head is aching. Your stomach is aching. Maybe you're still a little dizzy the next day. This can happen to a lot of people and you get or have a hangover. I know that in my wife's country they have a remedy that you can take called hangover. And I've talked to students from a few countries and all of them have some kind of medicine called hangover for when you're hungover. The next one is hang in there. This one is used a lot when you're trying to give someone some moral support. They're going through a tough time in their professional life or at school or in their personal life and you say, don't worry, you're going to get through this, hang in there. My last one is to get hung up about something. So let's take an example that some guy, a teenager, he's 14, 15 years old and he breaks up with his girlfriend and he gets hung up about it. This first girlfriend of his was taller than him so anytime he has a new girlfriend, the first thing he does is like, how tall are you? Can, can you stand up and, and show me? And he has a hang up about it. Well, everybody, I hope you enjoyed my video on hang phrasal verbs outside here in Vancouver. And I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye for now.
Hang around can mean to stay. Oh, listen to that truck. Man, oh man. Is that a helicopter? I don't know. Hang around in this case means to be with someone. Am I moving my hands too much? <laughs> Teachers who always use their hands, yes.